Hello, and welcome back to TK's Bar. I'm your host, Tessa, and today we're gonna be making a flight of fancy. So, like any good hoarder, I love free handouts, like free pamphlet handouts. And like BC Liquor Store, my local liquor store, loves giving out these like the spring edition and then the summer edition and the winter edition. By the way, this wine, the Grey Monk Pinot Gris is an awesome wine if you're looking for like a spring, like fruity wine. It's kind of sweet. Um, it's just really good. I would suggest trying it. So anyways, I've got a whole bunch of these pamphlets. They've got some awesome cocktail recipes in here that I haven't tried yet. So I was like, hmm, why don't we just try them here? So we're gonna make a Flight of Fancy, which came out of here. And so I haven't tried this cocktail yet or any of the ones from these books, but I thought it'd be a fun little series where I just make these for the first time and try them out. So let me know if you're into that, but we're gonna start off today with the Flight of Fancy. So this is a gin-based cocktail, and it's really cool actually because we're using one of my favorite gins, and that is the Empress Gin. This is from Vancouver Island, and it's a really cool color, and it tastes really good. I love how they infused it with butterfly pea blossoms to get that indigo color. But yeah, if you can get your hands on it, I'd highly suggest it. And it's kind of like the star ingredient of this cocktail. So starting in the bottom of our shaker, we're gonna be starting off with one and a half ounces of gin. So then we're doing half an ounce of Cointro. Unfortunately, I don't have Cointro, so we're gonna be using triple sec instead, but we're doing half an ounce of that. So then I have never used this on the channel before, but this is just creme de violette, and we're gonna be using half an half a teaspoon, which is a very, very small amount. Then we're doing half an ounce of our fresh squeezed lemon juice. Then we're just gonna throw some ice in here and give it a shake as it is a shaken cocktail. So believe it or not, I did chill down a glass already but then I realized that it's actually still dirty. So we've got a new glass. Unfortunately, it isn't chilled down, but that's okay. <laughs> but if you wanted to, chill down your coupe glass. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna double strain this in just to make sure that none of the little ice chunks get in. And isn't that color so pretty? Then last thing we're gonna do is just garnish this with the grapefruit. So I've just gone and I've taken the peel and I've cut it into a little square and I'm just gonna express the zest from that and then just slide it on the side. And even though the garnish fell in, I don't care. But there we've got our finished cocktail. So I'm really excited to try this one. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, I don't know, underwhelming cocktail. Um, I can definitely taste like the lemon. I can't really taste the orange liqueur. I can't really taste the creme de violette. I don't, I don't know. All I can taste right now is kind of like the gin and the lemon. I don't think it's a very great cocktail. Maybe it's just not for my palate, but it's not my favorite, not gonna lie. So I kept trying this to see if first of all, I could give you better tasting notes. And then second of all, if I, like if I could like it, you know, just a, like a little bit, but honestly, I even got my mom to try it. She didn't really like it either. I feel like it's almost like a waste of the gin to try this drink. I need to say, don't try it at home. I don't think it's that good of a cocktail, but yeah. Um, other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm gonna do a couple more drinks from those BC Liquor bo Store books because I found another couple that are interesting. Hopefully they're better than this one. I don't wanna give them a bad rep. So, because remember, I only tried one of their cocktails. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like me and you like this channel, I'd love it if you gave me a like on this video and subscribe down below for more. Other than that, thank you guys so much again for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.